It is another day of work in our vintage mobile home today. We are painting the ceilings, finally. I think this is the last major project that we have to do in here, and we've been putting it off because we just don't like to paint ceilings. It's, Who does? Yeah. So basically our ceilings are nasty in a couple of the rooms. The whole mobile home was in pretty good shape, but the kitchen especially had a lot of staining, probably from cooking, oils, grease, age. Really dark stains. So the kitchen ceiling looked pretty nasty, and what we did so far is just taped off all the perimeter of the room, anything that needs taping, and we also uh, took the lights off the ceiling so we can get around them easier. Um, don't skimp on those lights. If you're painting your ceiling, pull the light down, because when you paint your lights onto the ceiling, it just makes it harder for the next person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. We're ready to start priming, and we'll show you what we're going to be using. So since we have water stains and heavy staining, we're getting the... Uh, one, two, three, plus, and it's supposed to do It says all, high hiding. Yeah, blocks water stains, smoke stains, all kinds of stains. We're gonna throw a coat of this on the ceiling. Once that's dry, I don't know if it'll be today, we're gonna go back over white paint, and we're gonna have a crisp, clean, new ceiling. You ready to go? Mm-hmm. We're both gonna be rolling. It doesn't look great, but the ceiling is all primed, and it does look better. Stains are covered. We also got the living room ceiling done. And it just looks a little uneven, because that's just the way it goes on. It's just primer. Yeah. That's the way it looks. And we also primed this ceiling right here, in the hallway. So we're going to be done pretty soon. Time for a chicken update. Messy, messy. The chickens are also alive, so they're doing good. We have had them out here every day, except for when it's raining, and they're doing excellent. Yeah. The little ones can still slip out the fence, but they stick around because the other three are in here. And then they slip back in. We found this uh, galvanized window well and it just works good for a uh, shelter for the food. So we keep the food under here to keep it dry so that if it does rain, it's not we're not r losing all that food. Yeah, it's not getting like totally soaked. And the chickens actually like hanging out under there. It even gives them some shade, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. It looks like you're like hovering. <laughs>
Come back in. Come on. That's funny. <laughs> At some point, they're gonna get too big and they won't be able to do that anymore. So as you can see, our chickens are doing pretty good and they're having a lot of fun out here, eating a lot of grass and doing what chickens do. But we are getting ready to move. So the question is, what are we doing with our flock? We have five really cute chicks that aren't gonna even be old enough to be close to laying eggs yet. Yeah. So we won't be able to really enjoy them before moving, um, you know, to get food from them or anything. They're not gonna be old enough to butcher. We're not ready to do that. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do with them? I guess we have a couple of options. If the people who want to buy this house want the chickens, they can have them. Maybe we could throw it in, you yeah. know? And maybe they'll like the chickens out here in the run. Um, you know, and they're really cool chickens, and these are expensive chickens, so yeah. they might like that. Good rare breeds. If the new owners don't want the chickens, realistically, we cannot take them with us. Even though Ashley loves them. I love these five chicks. If Ashley had her way, she'd pack up the mobile home, she'd pack up the chickens, she'd <laughs> yeah. pack up everything and just bring it with us. Except for the chiggers and poison ivy. Yeah. But if the new owners don't want them, we'll probably have to sell them. Uh, I don't know if any anybody locally is going to want them for um, a reasonable price, you know, we're not going to give them away, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and if we do give them away, it's going to be to somebody who's going to really appreciate them. Maybe even, you know, somebody through our channel or somebody nearby who yeah. could really appreciate the chickens. So that's the plan right now. We're hoping the new people would just say, hey, I like chickens, and keep them. I guess our chicken visit is over. We're going to go back inside and start painting. We were really not considering painting today because it's a lot of reaching your arms up and looking up. Yeah, and your neck gets sore. But I'm motivated to get it done, and I was thinking about how much nicer it's going to feel to, to get up tomorrow and not have it on my mind that I have to paint yeah. today, you know, and that day. just have it all over with. Yeah, we might need a second coat, but if not, it'll be good to get it done. So we're going to go hit that right now. All right, here we go again. this time yeah it is dark in here and I cannot see what I'm painting so I hope this looks good in the morning yeah it's hard to paint white on white you can't see where you left off white on white in the dark yeah yeah Doug's working on the hallway now don't show this why um don't skimp on those lights if you're painting your ceiling pull the light down don't show this the ceiling is done. Look at it, it looks awesome. And probably not 100% perfect, but way better than it was. And for some reason, we have a lot of little sweat bees in our house. They like the paint. Yeah. <laughs> so now that the painting is done, it feels so good. There's a couple of really stubborn water st stains that just kept bleeding through and we just kept coating it, but it's... Layers and layers it's, of paint. It's almost good. It's just, it's fine. So now we get to do the fun job of pulling off all the tape and seeing how nice it actually looks. Yeah. Ready? That is better. Nice. Uh-oh. Thank you. 
got done putting the lights back up and now you know the room actually looks pretty good it's so awesome the stains in here were just so dark and ugly and terrible and now it's just crisp and clean yep and it carries right on through all the way down the hallway yeah wow cool so that's it we're done painting i think we're done painting everything we're not gonna be using any more paint will we no. Wait. We do. We have to paint the wood for the trim that we didn't finish. Oh yeah. A little tiny bit more painting, but we're almost done. We're not going to paint any more ceilings. We're not going to paint any walls, anything like that. So we're done with the major work. And we will start trim work now. And in fact, I have a whole pile of it right back here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pile of miscellaneous trim from the house. So we're going to dig through that. See what we have. See what we can make use of. I'm sure you guys saw us pulling the tape off and there was some missing trim and bits and pieces yeah we're gonna touch that up we're gonna pull off the stuff that doesn't make sense put on some nice pieces fill in the holes just try to get the house back together and that shouldn't be too bad and we're pretty much done almost besides all that stuff yeah let me get the kindle hold on yeah so here's our official to-do list clean behind barn we've been slacking and checking these off so check Window casing. I'm not gonna say that's completely done because we have the bedrooms. Three more windows. To do. Remove scrap metal. We did that. Paint ceilings. Check. Kitchen trim. We got to finish up. Reseal roof. That's one I've been thinking about. I want to res reseal the roof. Um. Yeah. Not sure if we will or not. It should be done. That's all. Unless I add anything new. Actually, let's add something new right now. Clean the garage. <laughs> oh, we're working that. Okay. Okay, we'll put it. Clean garage. And here's the new one that we just thought of. It's going to be new stone on driveway. There it is. Because, so this is where we usually park here. And this area right here gets really muddy when it rains and it's, it just stays muddy. And we just want this area right here to look good when people come up to the house and they're not tracking mud into the house. After the last week of rain, we've had rain every single day. So like, it's been getting crazy. And then Belle started playing in the mud and you can see it's all dug up and we got piles. And then it really struck me, we need some stone here because if people are coming to look at the house and the first thing they do is walk through a mud pit to get into our property through the fence, it's a bad first impression, so. Yeah, we're not gonna do the whole driveway, just this whole just area. Just this area in here. Yep. And maybe along the front of where it comes up to the fence. Yeah, where the grass is. So a new thing on the to-do list, it's okay, we're getting there. We're not stalling, yeah. we're getting there. One thing we have to do is start digging out all this mud because we got to get all the grass and, and the high dirt out of here so we can get stone in properly. And I've been avoiding that, I want to work on it. I got poison ivy all over my ankles. Because, and stomach. Because of the work we did the other day behind the barn, there's always like a side effect that you don't see when I work in the field, I always get poison ivy. So I've been avoiding socks today, but I'm about to put them on, I think, and just get some work done. 
So I guess that's all we have to share today. We at least got our ceilings painted and I bet a lot of you guys are super relieved and excited to see that happen because we've been told for weeks and weeks to paint the ceilings. Well, we've been told since like January or February when oh, we did the kitchen, like that's true. we have to paint the ceilings. We finally did it. It might only be at the very end of our stay here, but we at least got it done. Yeah. And you guys are right. It looks so sharp. It looks a lot better with the ceilings painted. I don't know if we would have done it if we were staying here knowing i don't know it's just us but it looks really good so that's all we have today we're gonna have another video coming soon probably us doing this driveway but until next time take care bye hmm <gasps> cold right Eat it. <laughs> Cold. <laughs>